the town mouse and the country mouse. There was once a little brown country mouse. His name was Pippin. He lived in a house in a hedge. In spring he lay in the grass and listened to the birds sing. In summer he nibbled on wild strawberries and cut grass for his winter bed. One day, as the weather grew colder and a chill wind blew, he heard a tap, tap, tap at his door. Peep in, called a voice. It is your cousin. I have come to stay. Peeping flung open the door. Toby Town Mouse, he cried, come in. Peeping made Toby a seat from soft, squashy moss. It is too damp, said Toby Town Mouse. Peeping took Toby on a walk. Smell the flowers, achoo! but the flowers made him sneeze. That night, Pippin went to his food store. He picked out his best nuts and berries. Erg, said Toby Town Mouse, I hate nuts. Is this all you have? In town, we eat like kings. Really? asked Pippin. Come and see for yourself, said Toby. The country is horrible. You will never want to live here again. The next day, the cousin woke at dawn. We will take the train, said Toby. They ran to the station. Soon they heard the rattle-tattle of pebbles jumping on the railway line. The train is coming, cried Pippin. It is huge. It came to a stop with a screech and a snort. A door flew open. Jump, said Toby. The train gave a shriek and a snort and it was off again. Chuka 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 choo choo! Pippin looked out of the window. He could see trees waving their branches. Then there were no trees at all, just tall buildings touching the sky. As the sky grew dark, the train stopped again. Toby twitched his whiskers. He sniffed the air. We are here, he said. At last, I am in town again. Home, sweet home. Now follow me. Toby leaped onto the train platform. Be quick, Pippin, he called. Watch out for stamping feet. Help! The mice ran out of the station and onto a busy street. Peeping gasped. There was so much noise. The cars roomed. The horns beeped. And the smells. Pippin sniffed his first sausage and coughed on the smoke. Out of my way! And this, said Toby proudly, pointing his paw, is my house. 
He crept in through a small hole. Pippin followed. They ran down dark corridors under the floor and up secret stairs behind the walls. Isn't this grand? They danced across the empty ballroom and played with toys in the children's nursery. Race you to the dining room, said Toby. Time for a feast. The mice jumped onto the table and began to eat. They nibbled on pie, they licked up cream. Toby ate his way through the cheese, while Pippin dipped his paw in chocolate sauce. Gosh, said Toby, I am nearly full. Pippin clutched his tummy. I think, hick, I'm going to be hick, sick. Suddenly the table shook. Toby turned. Run for your life. It's the cat, he cried. Hello, poor the cat, licking her lips. My dinner time, I think. Toby grabbed Pippin. Come on, he said. They darted this way and that. Pounce, pounce, went the hungry cat. She knocked over a jug and it crashed to the floor. Quick, Toby called, into this hole. Pippin ran. The cat leaped. He swiped at Pippin with her pointy claws and missed. Drat, he hissed. Pippin dropped to the floor. Oh, cousin, he said, I want to go home. Not yet, said Toby. You haven't tried my fine feather, feather bed. But the next morning, Pippin still wanted to leave. Toby gave him a map to the station. Don't get lost. Goodbye, said Pippin. Pippin ran to the station. He danced in and out of the stamping feet and hid in a bag to get on the train. In the starry dark, Pippin finally reached his hedge. Home, sweet home. He niffed the sweat, cold air and smiled. Then he snuggled down in his warm hay bed. This is the life for me, he said. <laughs>